Hey, what is up guys? My name is Daniel and today I have a PC build for $350. Um, I'm going to be posting my $400 PC build later on. Obviously by the time this goes up, it'll already be up, so you've probably already seen it. But um, if you want to shave another 50 bucks off the price tag, you can most definitely do so. And this will also give you some great performance. Uh, moving on, for the CPU we have the AMD Athlon 2X4 750K. 3.4 gigahertz quad core processor. Uh, this has a price of $80. Um, not much you could say. It's actually a very good CPU for the price. Definitely, if I was going for a budget build, this is definitely the CPU I would pick. Uh, for the motherboard, we have the MSI FM2 A75 MAE35 Micro ATX FM2 motherboard. Um, this will house our CPU, everything we need. It is $53.99, not much you could say there. For the memory, we have the ADATA XPG Gaming Series, 4GB. Uh, it's actually one stick, of, uh, one stick of memory. It's DDR3, 1600MHz. So, you know, 4GB still is a viable option today, um, no doubt about it. For the storage, we have the Western Digital WD Blue, 250GB. 5400 RPM internal hard drive. Uh, I would definitely recommend upgrading this as soon as possible, but this is obviously still a viable option. Um, next gen games are obviously going to be huge, like for instance, Total War Rome 2 was actually 35 gigabytes. Um, so yeah, you're going to need to upgrade this, but nonetheless, um, you could start with this and upgrade and you will be able to play next gen games once you upgrade enough but anyways moving on to the video card we have the xfx radeon hd 7770 one gigabyte video card this is a hundred fifteen dollars um but after the mail-in rebate which is twenty bucks it is ninety five so this will be able to play games like battlefield three obviously battlefield four just came out but i know that this card does pretty well in battlefield three but anyways, uh, moving on to the case, um, you have the NZXT Source 210. I love using this case for budget builds because for the price, you really can't go wrong with it. Um, it is $35.97. Uh, for the power supply, we have the Logices or Logices or however you want to say it. 480 watt power supply. This is $15. It's insanely cheap. Honestly, this build could probably kill your rig um, fairly quickly. So again, there's a lot to upgrade in this rig with the RAM, the hard drive, and the power supply. That's what I would recommend upgrading. But you could upgrade all that for, I don't know, another 50 bucks and get good performance. So again, check out my $400 build if you want to do that. And yeah, this game will be able to play games like Battlefield 3 or even next gen games at 720p and medium to low settings so you will definitely be able to play uh, next gen games for cheaper than a console obviously it's not going to be as good performance as either the PS4 or the Xbox One but nonetheless if you just want to get something for cheap that can play next gen games this is what you would choose and anyways if you have any questions about the build leave them in the comments and I will answer them thanks for watching peace